hello welcome back to my channel working in my personal junk journal today and i i keep having a ton of photos for one layout but we basically have been going on a hike at this really fun place and so i captured a few pictures that i wanted to include and i think i'm going to leave the background it's a very light purple and i just have some random things that i've already made like in past videos that i may include in some way or another so i think i'm gonna leave this blank um i also might use some scrap paper so let me get an idea of how i want to place things i have a big picture um i have a picture of each of them together okay so might start just backing a few of these I think that's what I'll do and I'm just gonna tear this paper actually I'll just glue this straight down so I'll just glue that down here And then I'll tear that. Whoops. I kind of messed that up. That's okay. So we'll tear that. Oh yeah, I like those colors together a lot. Okay, so then I'll do the same with this one. I'll just get the photos down first and then... Then we can add some embellishments or something like that if I feel like it. These pictures are from February and I think these are the last of any of the February pictures that I have. I wonder, yeah, I'll do this one on the same paper. So we'll just put that down. This floral paper is really pretty. I like this a lot. that down a bit okay so we'll kind of probably lay those there to see how I like it I have this journaling card I also have some tags love this life but I like this one I no you know what I could easily stick in one of these tags and do journaling on the back so maybe let's start with that and see how I like that. Okay. And I want to punch this hole out here. And then I will probably just put some twine in there. I'll do my journaling, you know, off camera. I feel like my layouts have become pretty simple um, compared to how I used to do them. And I just kind of decided to do it that way because otherwise it's just become kind of an overwhelming thing. Okay, and I just can't keep up. So let's see, I do like this, but I'm not quite sure if I like it over here. I could make it, or it is a pocket, so could just I'm trying to decide what I want to do on this side. Hmm. You know, I like this also. Um, it says create beautiful memories, so we could just place it down. I am sorry for the glare. I have no way to get rid of that. That's a little better. So maybe just kind of, I like how everything's kind of like just placed on here nicely. There's something black on the paper here and that's bugging me. So maybe I can do some stamping. Okay, let's go ahead and just get these down. I feel like I used to have a lot more memorabilia, like tickets and things like that, 
to include in my journals, but since we haven't, uh, you know, been going anywhere, I don't have any of that, so. So for this one, I will just glue right around the edge so that I can have that little tag peeking out. I'm actually just gonna place it there so I know where it will fit. Okay. Okay, so then, yeah, so okay, like I was just saying, I don't like that there's something on this page that's black and it's probably hard to see, but I have these really cute um, stamps. I think I'm just gonna randomly, I'm gonna take my black ink just seems like it'll I'm not looking for a perfect stamp or anything like that but I'm just because I mean I have things on the back here so that's gonna be impossible but I'm just going to randomly okay I really like these stamps I I have got to get more um, and that's okay I messed that up but oh well so I'm just gonna basically kind of make a my own scrapbook paper Maybe I should try to find a different one that's a little bit different. I'm pressing a little too hard, I think. I know. Um, actually, no, I'm going to go with this one right here. Just do a few of these. I'm probably going to have something covering up those, but that's okay. Okay, I think we're good there. And I'll do one more. Oops, I have ink on my hands, what do you know? Stamping is a messy job. Now I'm going to take my Distress Oxide in Brush Corduroy and use this, it's like a kind of a scripty faded Stamp, and I'm just gonna see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Just add a little bit more. I wish I hadn't smudged the ink, but I'm sure I'm not alone when that happens. That's okay. We just gotta work with it, right, guys? <laughs> okay. Oh, I love those stamps so much. Okay, now we're good to go. So like I said, I was thinking of placing this pocket right here. Yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just go for it. And that will give me a good spot to have some more room for journaling. I'm going to place it to the side just because that covers up some of the smudged ink. And then... Think I'll place that off to the side too, although I could washi tape it. Let's do that so that you can flip it up because I think that's kind of always fun to have something that flips around. So I'm gonna use some pretty washi tape here. That's going to rip, of course. works got a little ink on that but that's okay and then for these other pictures I think I might go ahead and actually yeah I will put them on this manila tag just because we have plenty of space for journaling actually since I added that journaling card and it can flip so I'm gonna put one down and then I'll put another one. I just have to trim them just a tiny bit. Glue that down. And I want to date stamp this somewhere. And then I think I might grab a few little like um, die cut kind of embellishments too. Okay, so we'll just pop that into the pocket there. 
So I have my little embellishment box out here. And I think this is a picture of Hans and the kids. And so I think I might want to include this um, right on top of the pocket here. I think I'm going to do that. So just add a little bit of glue. Put it right down there. And let's see, I have this little label here. We could date stamp the date on there. So I'll go ahead and I already have the date, February 28th. We'll go ahead and like that. Sometimes I like to stamp it twice, like so that it's a little bit faded. <laughs> so we'll do that. And I think I'll place that I'm gonna put it right there actually. So, let's see where'd my glue go? Right here? Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go like that. So there, I'm covering up a little bit more of the smudged ink. And then, um, let's just add a little, a few of these die cuts that I have to random spots. I think I might move that and these aren't gluing down very well for some reason. Okay, put this one right here. We have our little tag. And I don't want to go too crazy, but ooh, I like that. I think I'll add this little butterfly right here. And then I think we'll call that good because I could go real nuts here and add a ton of them. But there we go. I'm going to call that good. All right. One down and quite a few more layouts to go to catch up. But I like how this one turned out. And I hope that you guys got some inspiration from this video. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.